Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and tonight we're going to be using my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. This is 6 8 blade, barber's notch, got uh, horn and scales, very nice razor, shaves really well. And for our soap, we're going to be using Stubble Trouble, Rhymes with Orange. This is like a blood orange, uh, cucumber, and mint. Uh, I will have all of the description of the ingredients and the uh, scents down in the comments below. All right. But uh, we're in orange because I'm shaving with orange. All right. And I do believe uh, Stubble Trouble is uh, on sale uh, at his SE store uh, until Father's Day kind of thing. So, or for Father's Day, and this is uh, for Father's Day 2016, all right? And I will have information about that in the comments below as well. All right, so I've had my soap blooming, okay? Here is my Samog, and this is the 1305. Been getting used to it. Shake out some water on that. Now I'm gonna pour the bloom water off, and we're gonna use that as pre-shave. And that orange really comes out right off the bat. Let's load up this brush. Okay, guys. So, here's the thing. My daughter graduated high school, uh, had her commencement ceremony uh, Friday night, and then I was off at a retreat all weekend. This is now Sunday night. And how are you doing? Have you guys had a good weekend? I hope you have. Um, have you guys had good shaves this weekend? That would be really good. All right. So tell me about it. How's it going? You know, I'd like to know what your weekend was like. Hopefully uh, you had a good one. Here we had a pretty good weekend. Uh, it rained a little bit Saturday. Uh, but it wasn't bad, and it's not like we don't need the rain, so rain's good. All right, look at this. Oh, isn't that incredible? All right, and as usual, I made a mess, so I'm just going to go ahead and get that from around the outside. And there you go. Look at this. This soap is got great cushion, super slick. And I hate to waste it, so we're just putting that on. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, there we go. Get those hands dried off a little bit. Look at that lather.
All right, now if I recall, which I think I do, this is going to be shave 14 out of the 30 straight razor shave challenge. All right, so should be number 14, I believe. All right, so uh, in this first episode, we're going to be going with the grain. In episode two, we'll go against the grain and across the grain. All right, so let's get started. the cushion on that. There you go. <laughs> nice. This is really a nice razor. So there there you go. Okay. I like wedges. Wedges are really comfortable and shave really well for me. Let me know down in the comments, okay? How do wedges work for you? Do you use a wedge? I don't know. But if you tell me, I don't. All right? I have to tell you, some of my most comfortable shaves are with wedges. They really are. Of course, I got to put some alum on those fingers so I can actually stretch. Nice. Now I don't remember if I mentioned, but this is uh, two days growth and cutting right through it like nobody's business. And I got to try to make sure you get a little bit more soap up in there, right?
Okay, nice. There's that one, there's that one. Okay. Okay, again, great cushion, look at that, that razor is shaving, so good. Mm, let me do this first. Okay. Nice. I think that was a good first pass. Let's get it cleaned off, see what it looks like. Okay, yeah. Decent. Very decent. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, thank you guys for uh, sticking with me, watching to the end. I really appreciate that. 
Uh, now remember in episode two coming up next, we're going to do across the grain and against the grain in a one and a half pass. All right. So please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your friends. And have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.